Welcome back everyone to my let's play of Final Fantasy V, the four job fiesta for Tiny Toe's Rat Rescue. And speaking of Tiny Toes, our hero Tiny Toe and his friends Lena, Gallif, and Ferris, in the last episode, they ended up getting the Dragon Grass to heal the Wind Drake. I also ended up getting that uh, Hayate Bow. Um, took me like 20 some minutes to steal uh, off of that Poison Eagle. But I finally got it, and you'll see how useful that is uh, in some of the upcoming battles. But Cough, cough, I wish you could fight by your side. I wish, I wish I too could fight by your side. Miss that too. I'm reading too fast. Mm-hmm. And my, my, my head is going like a million miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Because I'm thinking I was going to say, you know, you see how useful it is in the fight because we'll be doing some uh, fighting. Uh, we have some enemies that we missed that, you know, now that we got a few more levels, uh, we can probably take them on. So, yeah, the world is going to be opening up for us here in a little bit, so... Uh-oh. We're back! Now open the gate! Remember when I said that uh, it might uh, bite us to tell him not to open the gate for anyone? Nice try, monster! <laughs> oh man, guess it's time for plan B. Yeah, the soldiers think that we're monsters. They think that we're under disguise, so... That's okay, because Gallif knows the secret. You coming? And uh, you should know the secret, too, because I showed this off. Because remember, over to the right, uh, if you go all the way up into the uh, northeast corner... Uh, there's a great sword lying uh, in the in the water, so in the moat here. So we're gonna head all the way to the back here, hit this button, which is not hidden at all. So I'm surprised the monsters didn't find it. But maybe it's like holy water, and they like can't jump in holy water. They're like vampires or something. So sorry, sorry. We thought it was one of excess truth tricks. No worries, grumble grumble. Next time I'll make certain it's the king. Then open the gate. Alright. Yeah, these people say pretty much the same thing. But there's the wind drake up there, head bowed, so it's still in pain. So let's go heal it up. So now that we got that dragon grass. I gotta remember how I get to the to the roost. Uh oh. Quill, she's in bed. What's happening? Quill gr grandpa, he's calling. Who's calling? Shh, don't try to talk. Calling. Guido is calling. Guido? Hurry, go find Guido, please. But who's Guido? A sage who's lived for over 700 years. Guido's the one who prophesied that the crystals in your world will break. And he's calling her, like, psychophilically? Psychically, Tiny Toe. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, Quill. We're gonna go see Guido. Just hold on a little longer. Mm, but have to use Windrake. Don't worry, we've got dragon grass and spades. Really? The drake's resting at the top of this tower. Will you come with me? Certainly. Like you need to ask. Where do we find this Guido anyway? He lives on a small island. It's in the ocean northeast of Drakenvale. And we're going to heal up the drake, and that'll finally open up a lot of the world. Lady Krill collapsed. And the Moogle still says, Koopo Poopo. Koopo Poopo Poopo. -poo. Alrighty, let's uh, head up here and feed the wind drake the dragon grass. And get it all healed up and ready to go. Ready to take us around the world. There's Lena taking the lead. Of course, she's really good with animals. Here, eat this. You'll feel better. He's like, nope. Why didn't he want to eat his food? That grass killed off all the wind drake. No wonder he doesn't want to eat it. He's scared of his food. Uh-oh. Doesn't matter if he wants to, he has to. With wounds like these, if he doesn't hurry and eat that stuff, he'll die. Hmm. What to do? It's alright, look, you can eat it, see? I'll have some too. Lena, are you insane? Lena, did you forget? Dragon grass is poisonous to humans. Here, now you try. She got poison jet in the grass in the, uh, in the home world. In the original world. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she still remembers. But the Windrake was able to heal her by uh, licking her. He, like, licked away the poison. Mm -hmm. That's a good boy. But it ain't gonna happen here. She's gonna collapse. Somebody else to the rescue. It'll be Lady Krill. Lena, hold on. I guess she has a, she has a potion ready just for the, this occasion. Drink this. Mm-hmm. An all-in-one antidote. Lena. Lena, are you alright? Yes, thank you, Krill. 
Don't do things like that. That's ridiculously dangerous. Cripes, Len, if something had happened to you. I'm sorry. I guess we just have to get Quill as a replacement party member in case something bad happens to one of our party members. Quill, you sure you're up to this? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh-oh. Maybe not. Well, let's take her back to bed. Remember, in, in role-playing games, sleep heals everything. Don't, don't, don't worry about me. Jeez, oh, Pete, every one of you guys is always going overboard. <laughs> Must be the royal blood. They're all pushing themselves. You stay here and get some rest, young lady. Okay. Although I don't know if Krill is really royal. Remember, her parents, she, she might be adopted. So, you saved my Windrake. I think we're square. Thank you. Nice. There we go. And now we can uh, ride that wind drake. You rest up now, got it? I will. You be careful too. Like I said, the wind drake will open up uh, a lot of the world, but first we're gonna head to um, uh, an optional cave that you don't really need to go into. We won't explore the entire cave, I just wanna show it off to encounter one enemy. There's also kind of a super boss in that cave uh, that we're pretty much not ready to fight, but. Maybe later. So, although we might not be, might be really tough with this party. Alright, I'm just gonna park the wind drake here, make a quick save. Now we're gonna fly over here. We have this little cave up here. And it's a really short cave, but this cave uh, takes us uh, over to the uh, big bridge. There's only uh, one type of uh, regular enemy in this cave these uh, ground peeds. And unfortunately, they uh, absorb Earth, so if uh, Ferris's uh, uh, Gaia Hammer does that quake, it's gonna heal him up. Not good. But hopefully, uh, we don't get too many of them, so. And hopefully, we get uh, some good sword dances from Tiny Toe, and. Nope, we don't want that to happen. Yeah, see, the quake is gonna heal these guys. Mm, tempting Tango. Quake is a really powerful spell. Mm -hmm. These guys actually use Quake. If you have a white mage, uh, you'd want to have a uh, float put on all your characters. You'd also, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, if you have a, a beast master, there's certain enemies you can catch that also will release and put the float status on you. So, be yeah, a float is uh, really uh, good in this cave. Especially, like I said, for that, like, ultimate, like, uh, alternate, like, super boss, super enemy. Uh, cause, uh, what happens with him is, uh, when you defeat him, he, uh, finishes the round off with a quake spell. So, I managed to defeat him in the last, uh, four fiesta, even though I couldn't use float, because I had one of my characters jump into the air. And, uh, when the jump, uh, in the air, the quake missed, so... But I have to check, I think the, the Gaia gear may uh, absorb Earth. If that does, that's one way to think. Now, the super boss is called the Gill Turtle, and to the south, uh, there's this passageway where every step you take, it doubles the amount of Gill you find, but at any point in time, you could run into uh, the Gill Turtle. So, alright, there's the big bridge. And uh, we were in that bridge earlier, but yeah, if we were to cross the big bridge, we would have been able to go through this cave and get back to Galaf's uh, castle. But remember what happened was uh, that barrier went up and uh, threw us over into the wild. Uh, so, you yeah, know, make our way to the Moogle village and Regal. Let's uh, hop on a Windrake, we can fly over uh, the werewolf village here. Remember, Guido's Island is to the northeast of Drakenvale, so we just follow this little path over the forest. And we're going to see an island when we pop out of here. And we got this little structure on it, so let's land. And let's head to see Sage Guido. There's the cave. So this is it. Yep, Sage Guido's place. Wait! An earthquake! Faris, did you drop your Gaia hammer again? The island's breaking apart. We gotta get back to the wind, Drake. Hurry! Uh oh. Earthquake is making the island sink. I guess we're not gonna uh, get to visit Sage Guido. Who could be behind such 
you know, foul, you know, turn of events. X death. <laughs> yep, the bad guy. Mwahaha, witness what befalls those who stand against me. He must be a powerful wizard. Well, we know he's a powerful sorcerer. Remember, he kept reviving even when the, the Dawn Warriors, uh, Kelger, Zizat, Galuf, and uh, Dorgan kept defeating him. They had to use the magic of the crystals to seal him. So, yeah, we know he's a really powerful uh, wizard. Mm hmm. If he's that powerful, he can sink an entire island. Wow. Well, this uh, puts a damper. Where do we go? Well, fly around. We notice there's two uh, areas we haven't been to. Two structures. They're uh, indicated by those uh, white dots on the screen. One of them we can't get to because it's surrounded by mountains. Remember, wind trees can't fly over mountains. So it basically leaves you with, if you're wondering where to go, there's only one uh, white dot that you haven't been to. So that's your clue on where you need to go. Even though we only found that uh, map of the home world uh, in the the ship graveyard, apparently uh, we ended up with a map of this world somehow. Maybe Galif had it. Although as soon as you enter this world, you can access that map. So I guess that theory doesn't hold up. Well, you want to walk around here because there's a, an enemy that we didn't encounter while over here, the Kuza Beast. He mainly uses that uh, blue magic spell that uh, hits you for the amount of damage that you did. The good thing though is we can hit him with a uh, blue magic spell, Death Claw. He's susceptible to it, and that'll bring him down to uh, single digit hit points. And then anything that hits him just finishes him off. So he gives him a pretty decent experience, a thousand experience, so 250 uh, per character, assuming everyone is still uh, KO'd or, or, or not KO'd. So. Yeah, the way experience works is you take the amount of experience that an enemy gives and then divide it by the amount of characters that are uh, conscious after the battle. So, 1,000 divided by 4, 250. If only 3 were up, it would be 333. 2, you know, 500. And if only one character is up, then they'll get all 1,000. So, I'm going to pitch a tent here just to heal ourselves up. Now we're going to see the enemies that we would have encountered if we would have uh, went in here. Uh, you know, the Moogle said, don't go in the desert. There's two enemies that we can run into here. So, we have the cactuses uh, that don't look like cactuses. They look like hedgehogs. The other thing's in the front. And then we have the sand rider there in the back. He has a lot of hit points, so. But he's also weak to water, like the desert enemies back in the regular world. Look at that. 6,000 damage. Wow. So... Yeah, but he has a lot of hit points. 15,000 uh, hit points. So, we need at least uh, three aqua uh, breaths to take him out. But we're only going to need two because uh, Tiny Toe got that sword dance. And uh, Len and Ferris did a little bit of damage, so... Yeah, you can use that Maelstorm. Basically, it's a hurricane that takes everybody down to single-digit hit points. And then he has another, like, hit-all attack. I think he might cast Quake. Uh, and that could really, you know, knock you out, so. Yeah, I, I uh, messed up on the first time, so that's why I had to, uh, you know, I made a save there, just to be safe. It, that ma battle looked easy, but if he hits you with the right, uh, uh, right spells and the right abilities, then yeah, you can be in trouble. So let's head to that white dot over here. It's gonna be to the south here, we'll be on this little mountain range. It's another castle! Whose castle could this be? Well, if you're paying attention to the Dawn Warriors, this is the last uh, Dawn Warriors, Zizat's castle. We try to open the gate, the guards are trying to stop, so they're like, State your name and business! Luckily, this guy recognizes us. Stand down, this is King Galif of Baal. Let them in, you Cretans. King Zizat is leading the fleet to Exodus Castle. Really? Zizat, one of the Dawn Warriors, right? Yep. Someone who fought along with Dad. This way, please. So, yeah, we'll meet the last uh, Dawn Warrior soon. Please take anything from the castle that might help you. Thank you. And there's quite a few treasures. We won't be able to get all the treasure, though, because there's, there's a guy in uh, one room blocking some uh, treasure. But we'll get what we can, so. Let's talk, get some information as well. We'll defend the castle until King Zizat returns. If we can destroy the barrier around Exodus Castle... King Z is out of the way, leading the fleet to Exdeath's castle. You should be able to land your dragon on the 
command ship. Excess castle is well fortified on the big bridge side. But on the east, it's relatively weak. So we have a whole bunch of shops here. Let's heal up because we, you know, haven't healed after getting hit by that maelstorm from the sand rider. Down here in the basin, we have a bunch of shops, weapon, armor. You know, not, not much that we really need, though, so. Let's see here. Yep. Got the same standard items, the two item stores. One's with potions, one's with, uh, you know, chemist drinks. We'll fill up on our potions and high potions. Uh, if you don't have, uh, if you didn't get that Gaia hammer, there's an upgraded axe there. Uh, the poison axe. It has a chance to cast poison uh, on an enemy. But not that uh, good of an axe uh, compared to the axes that we already have. So uh, we're not going to really uh, worry about it. So. <laughs> Let's look at all these things we got. Gaia gear. You know, give the bone mail to... Uh, uh, to uh, Faris there, give her a new uh, gold helmet. Finally, get an upgrade for the helmet. We got a few gold upgrades for other pieces of equipment like shield and armor uh, back in the Ronka runes, but nothing with the helmet. I'm still using that mithril helmet back from uh, uh, Karnak, so it's about time we get a helmet upgrade. At least for our physical fighters, our other ones have been getting helmet upgrades. We'll head up this uh, stairway first because we got a book here. Ah, oh, this song brings back so many memories. King Zizat used to sing it all the time. Another bard song, swift song, that uh, each time the bard sings it, uh, when the bard sings, he basically like kind of goes into a berserk. He just keeps singing and singing, and I think that way that song works is every time he um, sings the song, it increases your speed. Uh, I feel like there's something quite important within these pages. This is the library's oldest tome, however, half its pages have been lost, so it cannot be read. We found a book that is over 1,000 years old. That's even older than Sage Keto. However, we can only over recover half of it, so we cannot read it. It is entitled The Cedal Tome. This is a book chronicling the horrible atrocities visited by the land by X Death 30 years ago. I swear I've seen a book that looks just like this. Yeah, remember in the ancient library. If somehow we can get that book and take it back to the ancient library. We can't find the remaining half of that book anywhere. We've looked over every book on the planet. That's because it's in the other world. Speaking of books, we have some books that are left out here. So that book has the forbidden uh, book. We're going to put it on the F shelf. The Register of Monsters, we're going to put that on the R shelf. So let's look around here. O through Q, nope. Next one over. R through S, put it on there. Because this lady wants us to clean up the books. Ooh, everyone just flips through books and leaves them around. So yeah, we want to help her out, because if we help her out and restock all these books, she is going to uh, open up a secret passage for us. Thank you, now I'm going back to my room. She opens the secret passage. Yeah, there's no switch there for us to hit, so... is the only way we're going to get uh, to her room and to some treasure. The Book of Magic, Volume 8. I'm a major, knows how to lance. That's the secret to my strength. Thanks for your help back there. Oh, now that I think about it, they say there's some strange magic that allows you to levitate. And it's hidden somewhere in this castle. That's the float magic. I talked about that at the beginning of the episode when I was, uh... It's a white magic spell. I just got back from the Northern Lake. You know, it's all surrounded by mountains, right? When I was up there, this huge eye started glaring at me. I, I'm surprised I made it back out alive. So back there in one of those crates, uh, there's uh, an item, but we can't get to it. That man's in the way. But we can get to that magic that's hidden in the castle. The float spell. White magic spell, like I said, it puts your characters in a float status. So uh, spells like Quake uh, won't hurt them because they're floating in the air. The only way we're going to get that spell or that uh, effect with this group is uh, the Blue Mage can eventually learn a uh, spell called Mighty Guard. And it puts uh, haste... Uh, Shell, Protect, and the Float status, I think. All four of those uh, beneficiary statuses on your character. I'll have to look it up entire, uh But I think, just out of memory, that's the stats that it puts on you. Well, that's pretty much all we can do in this castle. So let's uh, head over to uh, where Zizat is. We were told that he is uh, 
massing a fleet to the east of uh, Exdeath's castle. Because apparently the, def the defenses are uh, weak over there. And it looks like his plan is to destroy the barrier. Remember that barrier there? Went up when uh, Galv tried to assault the castle. The one that threw us halfway across the world. Yeah, if we can take that down, that'd be good. Let's just uh, head that way. Uh, back toward kind of Galus Castle. There's that cave we were in earlier. There's the big bridge. Fly across the big bridge. There's the barrier. If you land and try to walk in there, uh, it pushes you back, so... Yeah, you can't enter it, so we're going to have to find some way to take it out. But we'll do that in our next episode. Take care, have a good day. Thanks for following along. Bye!